You're now tuned into me 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 uh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm good. They even have official state lottery games. Fish. Every day, there are millions up for grabs right on your phone. Once again, Jackpocket, America's number one lottery app. Right here. And all the new customers can get a free lottery ticket using code Gilly. Yep. That's G I. L L I E. Yep. Use code Gilly, you get a free lottery ticket. You get a free Powerball or Mega Millions ticket. Yes. Don't wait to download Jack Pocket now for your chance to win. Download it right now. Put in code Gilly. Sock it to your pocket like a rocket. Good luck, Jack Pocket. Right. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to be straight up with y'all, right? Hold on. Be- no, 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 no. Hold up. Let no, me explain. Let me explain that. what happened. No, no. Let, let me explain. explain. Let me I'm explain what happened. in the car. Right? Let me explain what happened. No, because you're going to remix. i in the car. <laughs> In front of Wawa. Here, you want some cuz? No, I'm cool, right? I'm sitting in the car. Next thing I know, this little young boy come out like, yo, Gilly, man, you might want to go in there. These two white guys and Wallow having words. I said, what? That only had words with niggas. What you talking Don't. about? <laughs> like, I go in there, the white boys ready rough you the f up in there. I saved your f. No, <laughs> let me explain what happened. Let me just explain what happened because I, I, you, I, I thought this was going to be one of them days. Cause it was all listen. It was he already was ready to whip your ass there by them lemonades. <laughs> now, 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 there's a possibility. That was a possibility. Now, and this is what happened. What you would have did there to you up? If they had to rough me up and nobody seen, I wouldn't have got in the car too. I'd have got roughed up, dropped in the car like yo, drop me off, and I'd have went in the crib, took a nice hot, soothing uh, shower <laughs> or bath. You know what I mean? To recuperate, and I don't want to sleep all day. This ain't back in the day where you go look for people. I'm not no young boy. You know what I mean? So, and this ain't back in the day. I ain't going to look for nobody. And I ain't going to I ain't so going to do that. beat your ass all by the lemonades. <laughs> in the and nobody was in there, so nobody seen it or none of that. You know what I mean? So You would have went home and took a bath? I would have went home, took a nice bath, a hot and joint. And some Epsom Yep. <laughs> I would have recuperated because they was big balls, right? These, these, they was a big They was a big I mean, so they so I know it had been a lot of body and fender work because I was right there in the corner. So they probably tried to rough me up through there, to put me next to the the uh, the, the lemonade, out all that. Shit. So and I said, you all through the. Uh, well, I was already processing it, but listen, this is what happened. So I go in there, I got my earphones on like I always do. So I bump dude, but I I, I thought I, I'm, I'm like, excuse me, right? But I guess I ain't say it loud enough because I had my earphones on. So as I'm walking, he like tell me like, yo man. So when I turn around, I'm like, excuse, huh? I'm like, what's going on? He said, man, you. Bump me just after I said, yo, I said, excuse me. He said, no, the fuck you didn't. So when he said this bull come over, right? Like, what's going on? So I just said, and 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 I will say this. I will say this. <laughs> that was a, a mishap on my joint. I asked him, I said, yo, what you coming over here for? I thought that was a joint that was going to initiate some type of fear or some type of like, my man ain't, my man ain't with the shit. He said, what the fuck you mean why I'm coming over here for? <laughs> so now I'm just, so, so, the, so the young boy peeped it. He peeped the little joint. I'm saying, no. So, so, so immediately, I ain't going to front. Immediately, once I seen that his aggression, his aggression superseded mine, it was a little more aggressive than mine. At that moment, I, no, 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 no. Bitch. At that moment, at that moment, I just was preparing how this might turn out. So that's when I started thinking about, damn, I'm going to have to go home, take a hot bath. So how a young boy knew to come out to the car? Because he seen me. the way the boy came. Dude, listen, listen, when his homie came, and I'm like, what you coming over? He said, what the fuck? You know, he seen, he heard but the how pressure. he knew I was in the car? Because he must, he must have peeped. He must have, because he was, when I came in, he was like near the door. So he oh. might have seen, you remember when I got out of the car, oh. I was saying something to you like through the window, so he might have peeped. So he knew I wasn't by myself, but he was too thin to win. He couldn't help me out. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm like, because so, I'm in the back and I'm like, Phew. and I'm saying to myself, why did I even say something to this guy? <laughs> the other guy. So, bitch. so now I'm like, I'm like, so, so now I'm trying to, uh, listen, I'm trying to re- Listen, listen, I'm trying to represent my toughness in a more common way. I'm like, no, I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? Well, I mean, like, I try yeah. to do that. That shit still ain't with Yo, watch. He was like, dude, when he hit me with a joint, why you hollering? Watch your joint. Because, you know, Philly white boys is different. Yeah. They they like from down the way. So yeah. they got the whole thing slain. Like, watch him. Like, come on, man. Yeah. What you getting all that? I'm like, 
So this ain't this, this ain't the average savage. This ain't the regular regular Ronnie. This another <laughs> bull. So I know they was gonna dust me off in the corner, right? So out of nowhere, Gil come in. Yo, what's up, cuz? So the one boy, they, I'm pretty sure they knew who I was. But they, they turn around, Gil, hey, what's up, man? Man, that's my cousin. What's up? Oh, all right, I'm just saying. They, I backed them. So at that time, I ain't gonna front. At that time, because come see. No, 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 no. At that time, I ain't gonna front. I said. I said, cuz, would you come in here? I got that. I tried. I said, I got it. I got this. Right. But I'm whole, whole time, the whole time, the whole time, only thing I'm thinking about was healing. I said, I got to heal. I'm going to have to heal. I'm going to have to sit out a couple of these. Because I said, if they rough me up, I can't get the people no good morning. I can't give them that all kitted up. My joint like this. They're going to be like, this happened a while ago. Right? Because I'm listening on some real stuff. This was an innocent mistake. Only thing I did was bump the dude. He ain't here. Because I was what's naming. But. I really thought I said that was gonna be some body offender work. Yeah, they was gonna bust your f- wig and that. Joke. Yeah, they was gonna they was gonna work me out, man. I was, we got back to we got back to doing interviews. We gonna do a couple podcasts by ourselves because y'all been begging for us to do some podcasts yeah, yeah. by ourselves. I wasn't almost wasn't gonna make it. Yeah, he was a throw you do the tasty cakes and shit. <laughs> you know we did. We tell a lot of people to call in, man, because a lot of people always got questions for us. Gil, I'm trying you know I'm trying to get Gil to get back to the DM, you know. I used to answer the questions in the DM, but I said, everybody I gave, stole my shit, man. Yeah, they did. Everybody think they Everybody yeah. running around here, free game, free game, free game. That yeah. made me not even want to get game out no more. Because if my, first of all, let me just say this. If anybody can say free game, free game, free game, and get my to listen to them, but they ain't really even saying nothing. I mean, Okay. But they ain't got nothing to do with you. I want you to go back to that. But what oh, we did is we put a number out there let people call. So we're going to let y'all hear some of the callers and we're going to give them some answers. Yo, Wild on Gilly, man. This your boy, Sir Zay, man. And this is my question, yo. So it's this girl, man. Like, she f- me heavy, you know what I'm saying? She pretty, but she a little bit chunky. Not nothing crazy, but she a little bit a little bit bigger than what I, what I would prefer, you know what I mean? Because I'm in shape. I go to the gym and I work out and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But she's been rocking with me for a long time, you feel me? And, and I've been coming up. And you know what I'm saying? My situation better and now I'm doing good. Her situation, she I just feel like she's not on my level in every aspect, but she with me heavy, like. And I know with the higher up I get, the less I'm going it's gonna be people who just genuinely with me. So it's like, am I settling if I if I be with her? Because I feel like it's just I need a girl who just on on a certain level, and I just feel like she don't got it in her to be at that level. I don't know. I, let me know something. I want to. I really want to hear Gilly opinion, but I know Wallow going to come with. I know Wallow going to come more clear to me. So I don't know. I'd rather hear both y'all opinion for real, for real. Oh yeah, and peace and love, man. Love y'all platform. You already know that. I watch every episode. We on everything since the beginning, man. You know that. Jersey tapped in. You want me to call him? Or you want to just give it to him right here? You can call him, see if he answers. You know what I mean? Let's see if he answer. If he answer. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is... Well, he ain't answer. So, all right. So, you can look at this in two ways, okay? You said, yo, I really f*** with her. I know she there for me. She a little chubby. She you there. feel what I'm saying? You, you know, I'm I'm I, I done glowed up. I done so you saying she was good enough to fuck with you when you wasn't glowed up, but now you glowed up and she not good enough to fuck with you. I understand she a little chubby, bro. You can go ahead and put the Michael Knight Ferrar Michael Knight kit on her, man. You know what I mean? That shit don't cost no money if you glowed up. Go ahead and put the Michael Knight kit on her. Get a look at how you wanna look. You feel what I'm saying? Or you could approach it like this, man. Some women in life and some in life, they come into your life, they only stepping stones. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot of out here right now that's laid up with a bitch that he's not going to be with in the future, but he ain't got no choice right now, so he's going to lay up with that. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's different ways you can approach this. Some people, some, some women right now, it's a woman right now, a shitload of women right now that's in relationship with that they don't want to be in relationships with, but that nigga pay bills than the last. He pay bills way better than the last that she thought was cute. Cute had the had the curly hair, had the waves. He but that nigga ain't pay no bills. 
She was in love with that nigga. She only in like with the nigga she with. But guess what? He pay bills way better than. Do she see herself with that nigga for life? No, she don't. But he just a stepping stone until she get her mother together. And then, you know, so every relationship ain't forever. You know what I mean? But if she was there for you and she was able to fuck with you when you was down, you might consider keeping her. You know what I mean? Because she wasn't too chubby for you when you was fucked up. Mm-hmm. But now you got a couple of dollars. Man, she a little chubby, man. We'll go ahead and send her under the Michael Knight kit. Get her done up, man. That's all you're going to do is go out and get a bitch that's done up anyway. So That don't really mess with you like that really anyway. Right. Going to knock you for your money and you're going to keep, man, you better keep her. I'm going to say the same thing Gil would have told you. So Check out into somebody else. What up, Wallo? What up, Gilly? Shout out to y'all boys, man. This your boy Tyler White. I left a message last year on episode 105 with Lil Yachty. Y'all posted my shit. Get what? But I'm folk got on my baby mama. What? She called me the next day. A day later gave me full custody of my son. You feel me? I've been trying to thank y'all boys, man. I really appreciate what y'all did for me. I can't be thankful enough. I need to check y'all DMs, man. At Ocean Boy Tyler, Tyler White, man. What time in the building, man? Thank y'all again, man. I got my son back, taking y'all to family court, bro. Y'all need to open up y'all own family court joint, bro. Y'all do y'all thing, but I appreciate that. Erie Ave in the building. That's major. Let me see if I call him. Yeah, we gave him some game. Got his boy back. Open up. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by DraftKings. The best part of football season is checking out the post-game stats. Yes. Which wide out scored more than two TDs? Which mm -hmm. QBs threw for less than 350 yards? Mm. Which demon lineman had uh, two or more sacks? Now, if you think you could pick who will do what before kickoff, you got to play pick six from DraftKings, official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. It's simple. To get started, first download DraftKings Pick 6 app, then select between two and six players and choose if they'll have more or less of a stat like yards, touchdowns, sacks, and more. Trade your picks for a sh no, track your picks for a shot at a huge cash prize. That's all there is to it. And for the first time, Pick 6 players, check this out. New customers bet five dollars just play five dollars on your first pick set and get 50 in pick six credits mm -hmm. that's five dollars on your first pick set and you get fifty dollars in pick six credits what are you waiting for download DraftKings right now the crown is yours right right open up on family court mm -hmm. that's deep i can see me there hello, hello. What's up, man? Yo. That's crazy. Wallo. This Wallo and Gilly, man. What up, Wallo? What up? I've been waiting on you, man. What's happening? You got your boy back, huh? I got my son back, man. I've been DMing both of y'all. I swear to God, since the episode eight. Please let me tell y'all how that shit went down, bro. Tell us, brother. Tell us. <laughs> what up, Gilly? What's up, See, man? I got a call. I got a DM from my partner. Yeah. On Facebook, <coughs> and he he said he said it was like eight in the morning. He said, "Was that you on MD WOG?" I say, "What the hell is that?" I was like, "It was my partner though." I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Boy, you a real one, boy. Salute you for being you." I swear to God, I ain't know what he was talking about though. I had no idea. Now keep in mind, I get the I get the the voicemail. You 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 say leave the voicemail. That was like a month prior. But to the, you know, when the episode aired, so one night I was frustrated. It's during COVID. I ain't heard nothing from her or him. I'm calling her mom, trying to get in touch with a Gilly. You know how they is? Yeah. Strong acting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> block you, yeah, block that, call the sister. Tyler, we gonna tell her, we gonna tell her to call you. She mad at me. She yeah. furious with me. Yeah. She really was furious with me because I know my baby mama believed in me. But, but hold on, why, why, she was, why, why she was furious in you? Of course, you know, we left we left Iraq as defense contractors doing two hundred thousand a year. Yeah. I done told her we can leave this shit and go home and I can go and take this shit. Yeah. And I made those promises. And I was there. The night spot was doing fifty thousand a month. I was good. So she looked at it like you done came home and got into this mess. You see what I'm saying? Not understanding that, you know. 
it's that Nipsey vibe. When you when you trying to win in your hometown, that's the most dangerous for a cat. You know what I mean? And that's really was a similar scenario. It wasn't it wasn't deadly, but it was just a traumatic event by somebody that I knew sitting right up under me that was jealous of me. So yeah. she furious with me. Now I don't made her walk away from two hundred. I don't walk away from two hundred. So we doing four hundred a year. We don't walk away from this, and those opportunities don't just present themselves rarely. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So she furious. We had already been going back and forth about it, and keep it real, she was already, you know, being a co-parent. She wasn't keeping the baby away from me at that point. But it got mm-hmm. to that point when, you know, after the fire, it was like, oh hell no, I don't got her in some country. Mm-hmm. And that basically how she concluded it. Okay. So I imagine she got furious. COVID happened, and I just, we just, she just broke contact. I wasn't hearing from her. I couldn't get in touch with her. It wasn't no, she didn't want no money. She was just mad as fuck. So then you came so, on the podcast. So, so, I, so, Guala leave a message. You got a problem with somebody in Philly? Call me. I'm drunk, mad at home. When I left a message. Yeah. I ain't, I, I left a phone number. I put an address on there. I did, I, I wasn't thinking. You feel me out? Man, come on. Yeah. So, at the blue one day, I get a call from her. Keep in mind, I had spoke to her in almost nine months. I ain't spoke to her. She called me. She like, what the fuck you got going on? I'm like, what the fuck you got going on? I ain't talked to you in nine months. Don't call me asking me what the fuck I got going on. You ain't let me talk to yeah. my baby. What the fuck is my son at? Yeah. She like, yo, why the fuck you got these people calling me? I said, who calling you? What going on? <laughs> yeah, wow. She screenshotted me and said some messages. <laughs> you broke <laughs> bum ass. Let that <laughs> see his son, you dirty. You ought to be glad you got somebody want that baby. You better let him see what I'm talking about. Man, they were eating that talking crazy. Another like, yo, you don't want your baby daddy. I'll take that baby. What's happening? You feel me? I'm all oh, hell done broke loose. So what the fuck you did? I, I still I put it together. Then I thought about the DM I got on Facebook. I said, oh, shit. I went on YouTube and seen the episode. I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, Melissa. You're on a million dollars worth of game with Gillian Wallow. She's like, I know you goddamn well didn't do that shit. I said, I did. You should answer the damn phone. <laughs> Get what she said. Get what she said. What? You're right. Come and get him. And I'm sorry. I swear to God. We got your son like, back, fuck? nigga. That's right. I'm we like, got your son back. back. We got Man, his look, I sent y'all DMs. Back. I tagged y'all. I, I just, I mean, I've been trying so hard. Man, look, that was almost a year and a half ago. I got full custody of my son. She said, keep him. And I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. I was frustrated. And me and her 100 now. She called. We all good. I mean, I swear to God, I thank y'all, bro. From the bottom of my heart, I thank y'all. I swear to God, I've been trying to thank y'all, niggas. I swear to God. I done hit y'all DMs thousands of times, man. My fault, I don't bro. try I to get it up with people that know y'all, that follow y'all. I done hit them up and told them to hit y'all up. Like, yo, I got full custody of my son because of this podcast, bro. And I know y'all doing y'all thing, y'all reaching out, y'all winning, but there ain't nothing y'all did bigger than that. Because I'm telling you, man, y'all know them Philly women, bro. She don't play. I was nothing I can do. How did you get with her? I mean, it was, how did you it get was, with her? How did you meet? She her? Just, I, just, I mean, again, she unblocked me and called me based off. No, the I'm talking about of how did you Philly. first meet her? Because Philly girls don't play. How did you first I meet met her? I met her in Kuwait. I met her in Kuwait as a defense contractor, right? She came to the base. Everybody wanted it. It wasn't but like 10 women on the base. You feel me? It's like, look, not only she she liked that, she liked that. So this girl making this paper and she liked that. You know, many, many was going at her for real. I did my thing. So check it out. She get off the bus one day acting weird. She acting weird. She get off the bus. I step to her. She look at me crazy. I look at her crazy. So the next day I go up to the bus. I ain't got no tough to say to your tough ass. I just put a heart on the window. The little ashy ass window. It's ashy in Kuwait. You know what I mean? That need to be watched. You know what I mean? Like you know what it is. Put a heart on the window. The next day that was that. She, she never looked back. None of them other cats stood a chance. I do what I do. You feel me? I do what I do. You know what I mean? Okay, so, digging. You know, not, now that check this out. I do what I do now. I, a lot of cats was mad at me. You know, they feel like, well, yeah, well, but stop playing with me. First of all, y'all already know how this shit go. Y'all ain't nothing over here. I'm fucking, so cut this shit out. I got it. You got It's over with. And I know you hurt. Not only are you hurt because I got a baddie, nigga, she making the same thing we make. We're going to look at some of these other callers, man. We, we, we left, we left you, to man. do that. We left appreciate to do that, you, and then we went up to Iraq and started making more money. Hey, Way listen, more man, money than right. we were making more. We gotta go. You know we appreciate. So- we listen. We happy that that we looked out for you. We helped you get your son back. Yeah. We connect. We gotta answer some of these other what's the names, but man, keep going, bro. Man, straight up, man. Salute y'all, boys, man. All right, bro. Much love. Much love. Yeah, Rap City, man. I love you enough, but you did. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
You going? He wasn't oh, playing. He going some old well. He said he was mad at play. me because I was. F- all right, you going to somewhere else? He went else to now. playing mode. He was. He went to Mac mode. Yeah, he, he thought he was my Billy D. Williams or something. That, you know, he activating anything mm. right here. Hey, Wallo, I'm an upcoming artist up out of Atlanta. And, um, I been feel like I be getting blackballed. You know, I just wanted to know how should I go about it. You know, you want to, you want to give, give me some advice on you know what I should do. I'm gonna say this. Uh, when it comes to uh, somebody saying they be getting blackballed when they doing music, I think can nobody stop you if you got if you got a phone. Like if you got a phone, you got all these platforms. Don't nobody control the platform. Instagram not blackballing you. Twitter not blackballing you. TikTok not blackballing you. YouTube not blackballing you. You got all these platforms where you can get your thing off. Uh, I think when you doing your thing, stop looking for people that you got to get a cosign or run by because like. Good music is the cosign. If you're doing some good music, you got good music, you got good content, you got your merch, you got your website, you're going your thing, that's all that you need. I think a lot of times, I think a lot of times we be looking for, a lot of times, it don't even be like we really trying to get on and get on. Sometimes we be wanting acknowledgement from the people that we listen to, who music we listen to. We want them to post us, Mm. or we want to do a song with them, or we Mm. want to hang around with them, or being Mm. around in the backstage with them. I don't even think it'd be really about that because... You could put your music out for everybody in the world to have access to it. You could put your video out for everybody in the world to have access to it. But you got to be able to ask yourself, is you doing everything that you need, everything that's necessary enough to be out there? Because it can't nobody shut down, call, <coughs> can't nobody call YouTube, Instagram and say, you know, whatever. Uh, you can't play these stuff or whatever unless you sample somebody's stuff or, <coughs> and they ain't got the proper license. And other than that, you can't, like, can't nobody blackball you. When you, when you good, when you talented... When you got good music, when you got a good product, can't nobody blackball you but you. And everything that's meant for, to happen to you, God already put that in the programming. So if, if you you just got to go about it. Now, a lot of people do make an excuse. I'm not on because of this. Mm-hmm. I'm not on because of that. Mm-hmm. I'm not on because. Of, and then you got to say to yourself, what did you do and who are you for somebody that had to blackball you? That's all I'm saying. But, you know, I think you just got to keep going and stay focused because all these platforms, you got your stuff on there. All you got to do is keep doing your thing. Why well, you got four phones, bro? Oh, that's for all type of stuff. I got all type of stuff on there. Bro, you got four Hold phones. Up. Good morning, man. This is Home Run. I was wanting to know who named y'all's podcast Million Dollars Worth of Game? Million Dollars Worth of Game was a saying I've been saying for a long time. I give you a million dollars worth of game for free. I got an album called Million Dollars Worth of Game. And me and I was worth a game with something I started giving up on Instagram to the youth back in 2012 when it was only 15 seconds of video. So that's how that went. Next one. How do you blow up in the game where everybody want to hear crash out music when that's not the type of music that you make? Let me say this to you, Neff. Um, he said, how do you blow up in the game where everybody want to hear crash out music? Neff. Majority of the people in the world don't even listen to crash out music. I just think that it's overly marketed. And if you look at and if you look at it on if you look at true database, sometimes y'all don't get to see the inside numbers. I be seeing inside numbers like behind the scene numbers, like where you gotta put a code in and go in there to real see the real number. A lot of these dudes don't be streaming as much as you think it is. It just be heavily marketed to you. So you think everybody listening out to crash out music. Crash out music is a small journey of artists. You know, that's really making that. But when you look at the songs that's really doing like this, it's not crash out songs. It's real music that connect with different type of generations. It connect with different uh, races, different backgrounds, you know, different cultures. So you can't just say that because you might be in an environment where it seemed like that's what's getting attention, attention, but it's not going. And everybody, and like I keep saying, everybody do not listen to crash out music. There's a lot of artists out here that's just doing their thing. When you're doing your music and just putting it out, look at Lil Russell. The Russell just doing his music and putting it out. He ain't waiting. He ain't asking for no permission. You got Simba. You got a bunch of different artists that just putting their music out and it's just connecting. And it ain't crash out. Larry June, you got a bunch of artists that's just doing them. I think we living in a time now where it's though, if you really about this music stuff and you really want to do it, just put it out. Put it out, and, <laughs> but, but, but continuously market it. Because I see that a lot of people put their music out They'll promote, they'll post it once or twice, and if the people that they know don't repost it, what's the name? They'll panic and say, "Oh, I'm done." Right? Like, like they don't market it enough. First of all, you just you just said something key. You you called and you said something key that you didn't even 
check your cell phone. You said, how do you blow up in the in the time where everybody making crash out music? Well, I'm a person that said, everybody doing that, I'm doing this. What we talking about? You, we always say everybody do what everybody do. You got to figure out who you is. I was a person that I didn't want to be everybody. You want to be everybody? No, you want to do something different. So if you doing something different, how can you believe that everybody may crash out music when the world is, the world is huge, man? Nobody ain't listening to that like that. Crash out music ain't controlling the charts, bro. So at the end of the day, you do, you ain't even supposed to be worrying about what everybody else doing. That's your first mistake. Your first mistake is you worrying about what everybody else doing. If you worrying about everybody, what everybody else doing, how you gonna truly do yourself? Think about that. You can only be yourself and truly be who you are when you don't give a fuck what nobody's doing. Oh, I like that music. I like what they doing over there. I like that. I don't like that, but I really don't give a fuck because I'm so consumed in what I'm doing that I ain't got time to worry about what everybody else is doing. So be you. Yo, what up? My name's Trey. I'm 17, and I pretty much got a question about when you go through so many hardships in life and you live in the hood and you got these big-ass dreams type shit, and you just want to manifest it, well, even though you do, you manifest it, you know it's going to happen, but there's always some obstacles getting in the way or some people type shit. How you overcome that, pretty much? Also, Wallo and Gilly. Y'all some peanut head ass. No <laughs> Little 17 year old ass. Let me tell you something, dog. Even when you manifest your dreams and you become everything that you wanted to become, you still gonna have obstacles in your way. We go through obstacles every day. And we still trying to manifest our dreams. We We've accomplished some goals, but we still got obstacles and things and they get in the way every day. So it, it, that's life, life going life. But it's all about if you're going to let life beat you the fuck up, put you in the butt naked Russian headlock, or is you going to get the fuck up and fight back and keep it moving? The winners is the one that keep it moving. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Damn Vodka. vodka. Uh, now, uh, life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. Mm. You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought your check was coming, but it didn't come your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. Is it still five times? Filtered three times for clean, crisp finish. You can drink it straight up on the rocks, juice, soda. You could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. Like two. That's up to you. Yeah, to shout to New Amsterdam Queen. Always got the girlfriends over making mixed drinks and cocktails. And so shout out to the New Amsterdam Queen Tootie. But uh, when you out and about at your local liquor store, don't you walk past the New Amsterdam? Don't you do that shit? You scoop it up like a fumble at the goal line. Ah, get it, boop. Ah. Take it home, and you drink it anywhere your choice. New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. And as you can see, we've been sipping. I wouldn't tell you to do something I wouldn't do. New Amsterdam Vodka, get you some. Right. Hello, good morning. Um, while I was calling to ask for your advice, I wanted to know how do I go about starting a women's group? Um, I want to reach out to young women, Older women, middle-aged women, single mothers, whatever, just to get together and help build each other up. Um, yeah, so that's my question. I think, you. sister, I think, sister, the best way to start is just you can start in your community. You start in your community and you find people that's going through the, you know, whatever they might. It ain't even got to be struggles. Some, you know, just um, sometimes we just need to be around people that's just, you know, that's just positive and encouraging. So I think you just start with uh, people you might work with, people you might be in the community. Y'all can just meet up at the house or meet up at the uh, park or wherever you at or meet up at the rec center or the library. And I just, I think it start from that. After, after you do that, word of mouth will get around. Y'all start building things up, you know, and then y'all get bigger spaces, invite more women. But I just think it's going gonna, it's gonna to go from word of mouth and, you know, word of mouth and just starting. 
I think a lot of times we have ideas and we don't really start. We just be talking about it so much. Mm -hmm. But when you start, it seems like, and you don't got to know what you're doing when you start because a lot of us don't know what we're doing. We just start things to get the motion. Once you start getting that traction, and then it'll pick up and then more people will tap in. What was going on? Good brothers and David Blue from Michigan, man. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how many times has Marlon had to use some of that karate earl? You feel me? Some of that karate earl charter, you feel me? How many times has he used it and was it successful? I need a backstory. You feel me? Well, I will Let me say know something. I will say this. Um me being a thirteen time black belt, um out of here. pink belt. I, I once got pulled over by the police and uh I was uh getting back down by a guy. He was a little bigger than me. I was on the street. It was a street, it was ready to be a street fight. And uh as I was getting back down, uh I, I tripped over, tripped over like this this stoop thing that was right there. I tripped. You know what I mean? And when dude went to go swing on me, I rolled over so quick he fell. Police seen it, they came over. So when they came over, they realized who I was. You know, I'm not, it ain't in this age, it was younger because they knew I used to walk with Earl all the time. Because Earl used to always have these conversations with the police. Every time they come through, hey, they be well, talking. Earl's a f rat no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Why are always having conversations with the police? They just for? knew Earl. I think, you know, because because Earl, Earl was in the service and all that, the nine and all oh, He was back in the oh. day, boy. So I get, you know, sometimes they might have served with him or whatever. But uh, he would always have, so they seen me. They knew, they knew who I was. And they basically told me, like, listen, and I, and I was, you know, because the one guy was laughing. He said, uh, can't be using that on guys out here. You know, you're licensed. And I never forgot that. Like fuck that moment. Out of here. You no, no, no. They knew. They knew, they, they, they knew my feet was licensed. Man, you wanted to be a fuck. What was the they used to ride the sub? The Guardian Angels. Now listen. Be a fucking guardian now listen, angel. the Guardian Angels, the Guardian Angel worked you the fuck out that time. No, he didn't. Pussy. But listen, listen, listen. At the, end of the day, at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, listen. A lot of times I didn't have to use it because people got scared when I got in my stance or when I made noise. Because a lot of times martial arts is mostly about the noise. It's about noise control and whoever to make them the most intimidating noise. You're <laughs> scared. He knows something. So a lot of times I ain't had to activate it, but it was two different I'll times. Some leg it was two different you. times that he was with us where I took some firearms from some guys. No, what He's about saying, when the guardian no, 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 no. Fuck all that. Running, fuck all that. The time he got slapped in the laundromat. So I had this laundromat <laughs> hustle, right? There's no. So back in the day, I used to bag, bag up uh, groceries at the market and I had a laundromat hustle. So I'm in the laundromat. And Gil always want to be tough. He come in there. I'm in there. I ain't going to front. I ain't going to front. I was young, so I had a hustle. I used to fold clothes up in the laundry mat. Because this was back again before they had the washing folds. You know, all the spots that they got now where you could just go and get your shit washed and fold. Oh, shit. They didn't have that shit back in the day. So I'm in there chilling, washing it. I will, I will admit, this wasn't in the jail. This was on the streets. I was a Maytag. So I'm folding up the laundry. So you'll come, especially the old heads, to get money. They drop their stuff off. This and third. It was me and this little young girl that used to work in there, right? Matter of fact, at that time, I really had a business. That was the first wash and fold in Philly. She was working for me, basically. So, no, I'm going to say she's young. She probably was like my age. Uh, she might have me by a year, but still, she, she came in there, wanted to hustle with me. So she would be posting up. We'd be cleaning up and all that. So Gil come in there with some cool shit. So he talking. We in there talking this and that third. So the old head came in there. And when the old head came in there, he marked he marked the floor up because we was I'm, I'm vicious mop boy before jail. And jails is, might be the most cleanest place in the world. The fuck because out of what, here. let me tell you something. Nobody clean up more than jail. All day dudes get out. They just clean up the note, be cleaning up. Where else do they do that shit at? Nowhere. But I, I'm going to say this. So I'm cleaning up in the joint. This is before I was in the joint, too. So I'm cleaning up. And so Gil had to say something to the old head because he walked on the floor. I'm like, bro, it's not no beep. Because I'm one of them dudes. Old oh, head. Yeah, no, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No. So he said some shit. He young. Old head come through. He got the trench coat on. Anytime I seen the old head with a trench coat on there, either he had a gun, he was dangerous, or he wasn't to be f He just got a trench coat on for no reason. He had, a worked out. Nasty he had some worked out. Coach, he had some it. worked out butt naked Tims on. The joints with no with no collars on them. So you know he's dangerous. Anybody that wear butt naked Tims in the history of the ghetto, they one of the most dangerous in the ghetto and you leave them alone. That's rules. That's rules. He had the butt niggas on and he had them tied tight. Like he had them tied so tight that both sides were touching each other. He was let the strings beat and they was worked out. So I'm like this like he, he be boxing in them. He be running in them. He be do all type of shit. Like he done ran from 15 different police districts. These were serious. He say something to him. 
I'm like, damn, because I'm in the back. I'm like, first of all, you come in my place of business. I'm in here hustling. There's a laundry mat. It was they one. used to fold clothes for a couple dollars. Get no, the so fuck what? So out what? So what? So what? That's my place of business because uh, back in the day, see, y'all know the laundry mats. They didn't have nobody working the joint. They just make sure you. They was. They was. I mean, this is on 17 Wing Hockey. You ain't got all do. the old heads used to do was give them a couple dollars so to make sure them come and steal these. Then I was you know, running the laundry mat. I had my own laundry mat. I had my own laundry mat back in the day. Laundry, I used to make sure everything was, was cool. Fucking f- Get out of here. You was hating. I, was, I had a business back in the day. I was put, a young boy. I had a trash business. bags for the mo- boy is to come Who else was? No, you ain't, nobody was in there but me and, me and Shorty. So listen, he going to say something to old head. Old head said this shit. I'll never forget it. He said, Who the f you talking to, young blood? What did I say? No, ho, ho. Yeah, you said some smart shit. But anytime old head, first of all, his attire say, Don't f with him. His attire say, I'm not playing. My life is on the line. I don't know if he was sleeping in the car, sleeping behind the dumpster, or sleeping with one of the homies' mom. The brakes off it just to just to live, right? But he wasn't playing. He had a dirty mustache and all that. This dude say something to him. I'm 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 taking it as an L. He walked on the floor. I'm like, I'm just gonna mop it and keep moving. I ain't gonna listen. I'm standing down. Sometimes you gotta know when to hold and when to fold him. This was the time when to walk away and when to run. So I'm like, damn, all right, I'm gonna take the L. Man, what the fuck you doing? Why you, you know? He say, why are you walking on the floor? Oh, here you on some nuts? He said, who the fuck you talking to, young blood? At that moment, I immediately removed myself out of the oh, conversation and went back over there to checking on the dryer to making sure everything was cool. Because one thing about me, I'm not one of these these new age boys. All that my day ones, my day my day one could easily be my day none when they do some dumb shit and it involve me and have altercation that's unnecessary. Because he always on some unnecessary. I'm like, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I told Shorty, just go over there. Don't worry about it. We doing our little thing because I'm working. I'm at my business. I'm at, and if anything happened to anybody here, I'm You're responsible. Over there peeking from my <laughs> try right, so, so he say some dumb shit. Going listen, back and forth for shit. So, so listen, I will say this. Listen, Gil knew that it was real, right? Because old head go to slap him, right? There's no boy. <laughs> he go. He, he got to admit this. He didn't slap him, but when he go to hit Gil, Gil was quick. So Gil dipped back. Listen, Gil dipped back. When he dipped back, oh, because old head came through. He went, who the fuck are you talking to, young blood? You. So he go over there, he walk over to Gil. Gil think he tough. Gil, Gil the size of a somebody, he the size of a of an ankle, of a of a of a short person ankle. This short. So he told me, that went over there. And when I seen him do like this, and that trench coat slid open like this, like a like a cape, I said, he raised to Gil. I turned around like, like because if you don't see nothing, that's your people. If that's your homie, you don't see nothing, it's like, oh, I ain't even see what happened. Pussy, so you like, see the use no, listen, listen, so listen, I'm like, I don't know what's because when he did like this and his tone went open, his, his, his trench coat went open like that, like a cape. I said, he done. So I'm like this. So, so, so listen, he go to hit Gil because I turned around, I was watching, but I would have told him I wasn't. He go to hit Gil, Gil do like this, Gil dip back. So he hit Gil like right here in the chest because he was trying to slap. He was trying to slap the, the saliva out of his mouth. He was trying to slap me to Alabama, man. <laughs> so, so, so what's he, he did like this? Gil was spit fast. He, he spun and slid out that door. He ran out the door. Oh, he said, yeah, man. So oh, he ran outside. So I ain't going front. I went and locked the door. So I go lock the door. <laughs> I'm like, listen. Because I'm like, Gil, cool now. He well, outside. He don't need to run back in here. Yo, one thing, two, two, two things. Then you do when I got to that door. Oh, he went catching me. <laughs> Gil ran, right? So I locked the door. I'm like, listen. So I see him running. He run out of the street. So he come back. Oh, he must have went to go do whatever he going to do. But oh, he, I never used to see him around this. So I don't know if he was around it. So he wasn't sure if he was going to tell his dad, whatever. So I'm just like, I'm just like, you know what? I locked the door. So Gil come back. He kicked the door. I'm like, open the fuck door. Jeez. I'm like, oh, listen, I go to the door. I ain't going to lie. I go to the door. I'm like, he all looking. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm, he, like, I'm making sure look, I'm around. Outside, he like this. Cause listen, it was all glass around it, but you had the, the bars behind it, so you can't break I'm it and like, get in. Open the, so like, door. Open the door. I'm just making sure nobody. So as soon as I open, I'm like, I'm bitch. opening real quick. Oh, I open it real quick. Bitch, Come man. in. He got in. I locked it back up. I said, Yo, oh, man. So so I hit it with the jaw. I go for it. I said, Yo, man, what happened, man? <laughs> Fuck that. Why you ran outside the jaw? Right. <laughs> I ain't waiting to know. I see that always try to slap slap life out of him. Right. He will slap fire, earth, wind, and fire out of him. Right. So I'm like, man, listen. Cause listen, you know what? I just don't think that it's, your, it's my problem if it's your problem. And it's just a one-on-one. Like, why do I have to get involved? Why do? And then I got the little Slimmy there. And, and then, so, so when he come back, I ain't going to front. When he come back, and he telling me, he like, man, you know, oh, I said, what? He tried to do what? Because I had to front for her. You know what I mean? But I was, I was, that was First all. First of all, she knew you was front because both of y'all was peeking from my. 
behind them dryers. No, I don't think she thought. She thought I didn't know. Both of was like this. Because my reaction, I thought. I, 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 listen, listen. I will say this. I will say this. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. She might have seen that I was bitching because she said something to me one time. Because somebody came in there with some other tough shit. I said, I got this. She said, no, you don't. <laughs> so she might know that I was bitching that time. Straight up. Because I was like, listen, I, I I was just on the tip. Like, why do I have to be involved with something that don't involve me? Because that's none of my business. Hey, that, that, I'm going to keep it all the way real. That right there was one of the life by life lessons, though. <laughs> you know, always I had to learn how to check temperatures. Yep, you got you know, you know, to boost it. After that day, I became a temperature checker. Like The boots was, was, was vicious. Because if he had slapped you down. If old head would have connected, you was done. You would have been. You would have been dead. Old head would have wired my sh. Man, I felt that wind come past my sh. That hit you your chest. You had a mark on your like chest. Right up in he had a mark yeah. on his chest and everything. But he was trying to. But I dipped back. Old head was. Old head would have slapped me to Alaska, man. Cause this was back in the day. I'd have woke up. It would have been. It's cold. <laughs> no, you'd have woke up. I'd have said, "No, you fell." I'd have just told you, man, what happened? You slipped, man." <laughs> Cause I, cause, cause if I didn't listen, cause if we would have got back, the old head slapped you, cold. and I ain't do nothing. That I'm like, damn, oh, you ain't even do nothing. Slapped me to Alaska. I'd have like, yo, did nothing. I'd have thrown you. I'd have thrown. Get up, cause you fell. You all right? Damn, man, you cool? I'm like, man, you fell and hit you. Threw some water. Yeah, I'd be like, you hit your face on the dryer, John. Man, you all right? I remember old head slapped me. No, you wouldn't remember nothing. Is connected. Just, if we didn't connect, I'd have passed out. If that John would have connected, hit you, cause it was so John, I'd have did one of these John. I would have faded. That joint was crazy. The wind from that joint, I would have faded, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, didn't really look that strong either, though. Oh, he yeah, was going to tell about the, well, the way that wind came and that mark that was on my chest. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, but you know, you know what's crazy, man? Like, I ain't going to front, man. Back in the day, I don't know why, because it was like I got chased like every three days. I used to love getting chased, man. Cause I will always get away. More. Only time I ain't get away when the police chase me. But when it was a, but well, what, it, it, it was a different. It's a different when a street the fighter chase you. You ever been on? You got caught. When a street fighter chase or you getting chased from school, that's different, bro. You become like like on some real. Shit, that's where the best the best athletes was discovered. Cause it'll be like a gym teacher leaving school, chilling, and a mother just come by. Phew, you be like they be like. I remember the ninth grade when I went to Saul. Yeah, and we jumped in. There. On the bus, and of course I had to be the loudest. I ain't jumped everybody. nobody. Well, you wasn't it, but I'm saying we, me, my, me and my niggas from the school jumped that nigga on the bus. I had to be the loudest. Man. Then the whole football team chased me from Broad and Vine to Eighth and Market, man. Two days later, man. I'm telling you, when you scared, bro, you could do some amazing. I was faster than Carl Lewis, Ben Johnson, Usain Bolt, all of them mixed together, man. All I seen was purple jackets chasing me, man. Mm. But I'm here to talk about it today. So you was a Mitch? What's a Mitch? Uh, same thing. What the fuck is a Mitch? I don't know. I just, just heard somebody say just making up. I think I heard Kevin Hart say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, so you was a Mitch. Sit your dumb ass down, man. And it's just right. like that. Right. 